All right, so now that we've got the panel set up, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is go into this gear here, which is the system. Um, I like to open up the HDMI out. So if I use a projector that was existing or another panel and I want to daisy chain two together, since there's two USBs and HDMI in each panel, they can collaborate together. So I turn that on. What this eye care does is it reduces the blue light and blue light uh, tells your brain it's daytime, it's daytime and can affect your sleeping pattern by re reducing the melatonin production as well as the blue light. Um, goes further to your retina and can lead to age-related macular degeneration. So Ben and Key, we own several health companies. One of the things we put in for safety is the eye care, the low blue light. We're TUV certified for that. We're also TUV certified to be flicker free, which comes up from our gaming monitors, which will reduce eye fatigue. The gamers that are gaming 12, 16 hours a day for tournaments, uh, they love our flicker free and high refresh rate. So we've got that up in here. Uh, the other thing would be we're TUV certified for antibacterial. Um, so we're the only panel on the market that's TUV certified to reduce the spread of bacteria by 99.97%. And we're also getting it certified in Japan. I think it's SSI, which is even more stringent. Uh, so nobody can compete with us on those, especially with the antibacterial on the RP series and the flicker free. Other people are catching up to us with the low blue light, but we've actually had that for about 10 years, you know, before Apple came out with their night mode and, and all that. So we've always been kind of ahead of the curve in a lot of technologies. We, we don't get all the respect that we deserve for our um, technology. So the first thing, so I, I do that. Um, then I'm going to go to the system about system update. I agree with them. Just going to check for an update and then I'm just going to make sure I have the latest update. There's a new version, dot 10. So we're going to update to 10. So first you want to update the panel and then we'll update the EasyWrite software. And then I'll show you how to name the sources. Um, so that'll, that'll be kind of all I'll talk about in this episode unless something strikes me. And we, hopefully this doesn't take too long. So you can manually do this at the panel or using the device management software or central management services, we can, we can update all the panels over the network, just like we can update apps by sending them to all panels or groups of panels. And we can send out messages with X signed to all panels or groups of panels, depending on how you set them up. And it could be a scrolling text, a fixed text, a YouTube video, or you could set it up with a static IP for live YouTube videos for the daily principals announcements. And some schools have students put the announcements together, so we can do all that as well. And then the DMS, of course, is loading the apps to every classroom, and you can vary it by grade level. And you can send out messages. It could be an emergency message, fire alarm, etc., with pages of what to do. Um, so we can also get into the message broadcast system, um, lockdown messages, that type of thing. Or it could be to a single room and say, hey, send, uh, Billy's parents are here to get him to take him to the dentist or something. And they'll, uh, you can just send that message to the teacher. She gets it, turns it off, and sends him to the message with minimal interruption to the class. I think this was a big update, so it's taken a little bit longer than I was hoping. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the remote's pretty nice. I can show you the remote. Uh, so the remote has a spotlight, which I can reduce the size of it and I can focus on something. Yeah, there was our agenda. Or, if you've ever tried to do a laser pointer on a panel, uh, they don't work. It sucks up the lights. So we have a laser pointer built into this. Um, it also has a freeze button which is the most commonly requested. Freeze on, freeze off, so the teachers can do their emails while they leave something up there. There's a blank screen as well. Okay, focus everybody. Um, and there's actually, we connect with uh, 
Um, not Siri, but uh, Safi. So Safi, we can connect with uh, good commands. You, you know, can't say buy some shoes and send them on my house, but let's say a special needs student, they couldn't get up. You could uh, have them um, give some commands. And then you can also pull up multiple pages and scroll through them, but I don't have multiple apps open. Oh, there we go. So then I could have scrolled through those with the remote like this. And switch as I walk around the classroom. So I think I'm updated. Panel is updated. So first you do the panel, then you do the easy right. this don't panic it's normal it was a big update and now the systems updated and again we can remotely do this with the DMS or you know turn them on team viewer remotely do that Panel is updated. Then you have to log in again. The NFC card, so you don't have to type in the password so the students can't see it. Uh, some of our other ones, you can use the phone with the QR code reader, or you can just use, type in your username and password. Um, so now the panel is updated. So at, at first you update the panel, now you update the easy right. So that red dot was there, that's how you know it needs to be updated. Oh yeah, that dual, the color changing there. Uh, it's updated, All right? So now the easy right is updated. So that red dot's done. Let's see, I'm gonna turn is on still okay. So that's updating the panel. Uh, let me show you one other thing. So you updated the panel, we updated the easy right. Let's click on this gear again for the settings. And I'm gonna go to the device and I'm gonna go custom source. And here I'm going to rename these. So I'm gonna say, hey, this will be computer. Again, this could be an iPad, a Mac, a Chrome. I think audio, um, I don't play with that too much. But the other thing you might want to do is for mic choose. Right now I've got it set up for the current mic built into there, but you, if you want to use a remote mic for like a wireless headset or something, you pick that. Or you could have a plugged in mic into there. Was also, this is where you could set up your email accounts. In here, and add some email accounts. And you can turn off the IR if you want, which I don't know why you might want to. Lock in the keys. And then apps. Here you can see, here you can see all your apps, and if you want to delete an app. You could do that here. For example, X sign. I could disable it and, and delete it. But I don't want to do that. So that's kind of the system settings and up, how to update the panel. Thank you.